Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start a four-part series on using the Yahoo Maps ActionScript 3 component. Now you're going to need Flex 3 to make this run. If you use the ActionScript 2 component, this is totally different. And to get started, let's go to the following URL. developer.yahoo.com forward slash flash forward slash maps. And once you're there, here on the left-hand side is a nice menu item. You can just click on these and go through here. and It'll help you uh, get through the process. Getting started using Yahoo Maps, example, screenshots, action script 3, class reference, and you need to read that license and then go ahead and download that SWIC component. Let me just draw your attention over here to the right-hand side of the screen. And to actually get going, you're going to want to sign up for that API key then download that component and we're going to check out those examples and get one of those running in Flex today. So let's sign up for that API key. Now I've already previously signed up for a key so you're going to need a Yahoo ID and a Yahoo password that will take you to the developers network and in that I'm going to uh, choose generic as opposed to browser based authentication. Want to learn more about that? Click here and it will tell you about all the great things you can get through uh, browser based authentication but for today, let's choose generic, and I'm going to put in a developer name, a product name, uh, a web address, contact email, and I left my phone number out, and what the description of the map is about. And once you do that, go ahead and click continue, and that will generate an API key for you. So you want to copy that and put that somewhere safe in my documents or in a notepad. And hit finish, and let's move on from here. Next thing we want to do, of course, is download that SWIC file. So that download. And I have already done this. I saved it in my documents. And then I unzipped it. And let's take a look at that SWIC file right now. So if you go to my documents, and we'll go to my or Yahoo Maps, where I placed it. And there's my Yahoo Map. Uh, downloaded. You're going to find three documents here. One's a build document and that's where the SWIC file is. You're going to want to copy and paste that into your Flex project. So we'll go ahead and copy it right now. And then here's some documentation. And here's a number of examples which are extremely helpful and we'll lean on them a little bit during this tutorial series. So let's open up Flex and get going. Just one more thing here. There's a series of directions right here on how to make that build path. We're going to create a flex project. We're going to right click on properties. We're going to go to the library path and we're going to add that SWIC and then click OK and you're ready to start building. So let me go through that process in flex. So let's bring up Adobe Flex right now. Once again this is Flex 3 which just came out Monday so it's a great product. We've been running on beta for quite a while and we're glad to see it, this product finally come out on the market. If you're an academic, that means a student or a faculty member, you can actually get Flex 3 for free. And you want to go to my tutorial series on how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and make this screen 800 by 600 so we can work with it. So I'm using Sizer to do that. There we go. So I'm in Flex 3 and I want to create a project. So just right click on the screen in the navigation tab here and let's go to New. Click on Flex Project. And I'll just name this Yahoo Maps. And hit finish. So now that you've created your Yahoo Maps Flex project, we want to put that Yahoo Maps SWIC inside that project. So let's right click on the Yahoo Maps project and go to uh, New and go to Folder. And we'll call this My SWC. And that's where we're going to paste that SWIC file. So hit Finish. And we've previously copied it, so let's paste it. And there's my Yahoo Map SWIC. And so now let's go ahead and go and put that in our build path. Go to Yahoo Maps, right click and go to properties. You want to go to flex build path, hit on the library path and go to add SWIC. And let's browse for that SWIC. 
Now we put that SWIC in our Flex project, which is in My Documents, which is in Yahoo Maps, which is in Yahoo Maps again, which is in My SWIC, and click on Yahoo Map, open, hit OK, and OK. And we're updating the compiler setters. And now that's including your path, and you can build your first Yahoo Maps. And we're going to do it very simply. We're going to go back to our developers page. And we're going to click on examples. And so Yahoo has provided you with a number of map examples. And you can look at the source code, the output, or the download Flex archive. Let's take a look at some source code here. And so there's your uh, Flex code. And we'll go ahead and take a look at some output. And this is what one of the Yahoo Maps actually looks like. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take a look at one particular one that we're going to actually use in our series here, and that's the markers. So if I click on the output, I generate like a thousand obnoxious markers. And you're going to go, what the heck do you need this for? And we're going to make this rock. We're going to go in here and reprogram this and put in video and audio and very interactive features. So the first thing I'm going to do just to make this easy, come along here, let's click on that source code. I'm just going to copy this source code. I'm going to go right back to Flex and paste it. Let's take out some of these extra dashes that we picked up in the pasting and copying process. And once you get rid of the dashes, let's just go and run this project. Hit OK. So once Flex runs the project, here we get, a, as I've said earlier, a thousand obnoxious markers. So let's see if we can reduce the number of markers and actually put this map inside a canvas to make it smaller. Okay, let's go back to Flex. And the first thing we want to do is reduce the number of markers. Now you've got a for loop, obviously, because you're producing a thousand of them. So let's just go down the code and look for a for loop. And there's one right there, and it says, Hey, it's a thousand stop, so let's make it a hundred. And let's run that and see what happens. And there's your hundred. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. Excuse me. Okay, so let's put this in a canvas so we can control its placement on the Flex project. So I'm going to go back up to this um, UI component, and I'm, gonna, and I'm going to sandwich it inside a canvas. So we'll just go MX canvas. Here's a nice little shortcut key. I'm going to highlight that uh, closing bracket, hit the Alt key and the down arrow, and it actually moves it without cut and pasting it. So that's, that's nice. Let's move on from here. Now, I want to put some size to this, so let's put a width in there. And we'll just say, oh, 200 pixels. And let's put in a height. And you can use these code hints, they're very nice to pop up in Flex. Put 200 pixels. So let's take a look at design view real quick. There's a canvas, so let's run the project and see what happens. And so now my map is actually contained in a canvas of a size of my choosing. And using absolute or vertical or however you want to set your boxes, you can move that into whatever position you want on the Flex project.